So what's it like moving to the woods? Well, firstly, it's too loud. I hate how loud it is out here. I can never hear myself think. Secondly, it smells different. It smells really strange, actually. Like I can't put my finger on it. It's just an odd smell. Thirdly, my kids hate it. They're always bored. There's nothing to do out here. They sit around. They're always saying that they wish they had something to do. The ranger. Mm-hmm. Thorsten. <laughs> Thorsten. I'm just kidding, guys. My name is Allison. I am a nurse that did not comply with a you-know-what, and I lost my job of five years. I was a clinical leader. I had just gotten my BSN on the day that I was termed, and that kind of put my family over the edge, and we decided to move to the woods leave everything behind and start fresh. Honestly, so far the experience has been absolutely amazing and I feel so lucky. I just feel like everything works out for a reason. So glad that I was terminated, honestly, because I probably would have never done this. Um, my husband and I had always talked about doing something like this, you know, doing something on our own, very self-reliant. But that plan had always not really included my kids. We always kind of talked about it as like a retirement gig. And, you know, the last year, everything kind of just pushed that forward. And we made our retirement gig kind of come true now. We're living in a really small cabin. It's about 800 square feet. I have four kids. And it's awesome. <laughs> we really thought we were going to need more space. And we were pretty nervous about moving into such a small space and it's really turned out that we don't need that prior to moving in about two weeks prior we built bedrooms there were no bedrooms basically we moved into a hunting cabin that was just a square and had a single loft so my husband and I get to stay in that loft and my kids they split a girl's room and a boy's room and it's been working out wonderful we have a lot of property we have 21 acres here so there's really always something to do, always something to be done too. Um, we garden, we are producing our own firewood. Um, my kids love riding their four-wheeler. We have a pond, they love in, um, swimming in the pond. Um, they go on hikes, really, it's just great. I love walking out of my front door and I'm walking into the woods. It's just amazing. And I love looking out the window and five feet away from our cabin is where the wood starts. It's, it really makes you feel connected to nature. It makes you take more time to appreciate the things around you. We've also started a flock. Um, we have some silkies, which were kind of like a starter bird for us because we've never owned chickens, so we didn't really know where to start. And then um, we actually just got guinea keats. Um, they're about nine or 10 weeks old now. So we're gonna have, you know, kind of craziness with them all around the property as well and they're all free range um, our keats are still training in the coop right now um, we have a pasture so hopefully in the future we can have um, other animals here and you know just kind of work our way towards being more self-reliant in the works is a earth bag root cellar this is something i'm really looking forward to this is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm kind of wanting to change how I garden, you know, leaning more towards the root cellar veggies that can, you know, stay and preserve that way rather than canning. I've been a canner now for a couple of years and I absolutely hate it. I hate just the, the wonder if I did it right, if I did it correctly, and then the, the need to boil everything. If I can eliminate canning, significantly and you know we still have vegetables to eat throughout the winter that would be amazing so that is one of our goals as for work i am actually working when i first lost my job i thought it was like the end of my nursing career as we know it because it doesn't seem like these restrictions and these mandates at least in new york state are going away so 
I was reached out to by a family by word of mouth. So a nurse I had worked with previously had put my name out. I started picking up shifts with them and it's been amazing. Um, really glad I did that. I only work one night a week so I can stay home with my kids, which was actually the goal I had when I got married was I always wanted to be a stay at home mom. Um, and then just like financially, um, we needed me to start working. So that's when I went to nursing school. And now we're not really in that position anymore, so it is kind of just a secondary benefit now that I do that one night a week. And I get to maintain my nursing license, you know, that way if in the future I can or do decide to do something different or pick up more shifts in private duty, I have that option and I have that experience still. When I made my first video, I made that thinking like truly that I was no longer going to be a nurse and I knew the repercussions of not getting the you know what in the arm and truly I thought that was it. I thought that was the end of my nursing career and I was really fed up with that and it pushed me into a totally different mindset. A mindset of I really can't trust my government. I, I can't even live my own life the way I want to live it. Um, so being out here I feel like I have so much more freedom and I have more choices and I am feeling very empowered. I can produce my own food, I can produce my own power, I can produce my own firewood. Um, you know I'm taking back what should have always been mine and making that official. Recently I was driving through a village with my oldest daughter and she had said to me I don't think that these people are free. Well not like us. And she meant because their houses were so close together and there was fencing everywhere. She was like, I don't think that they can go anywhere. And she also said, I don't think that they know their neighbors. And we have neighbor neighbors and we know all of them. We know them by name, you know, so much about them. We spent so much time with them already. And that was not something that we did previously when we lived in a village with tons of neighbors. When I say neighbors here, I mean, you have to walk a mile. To get there or you know ride your side by side or whatever actually the first day that we moved here there was a neighbor had driven through our woods on their side by side to come introduce themselves and it felt totally normal like it felt great like wow this is the type of community i want to belong to you know we have a great relationship with our neighbors um, one of them um, actually made us hard cider you know very nice generosity around here and just a great community to be in we have a lot of goals now we have firewood goals we have garden goals um, like i said we have that root cellar goal it just think, seems like every project builds into a new project and leads to another goal so you know we're never short on things to do here never short on projects never short on our goals and it's been working out really well and I wish more people could live like this and I understand that a lot of people don't want to live like this. We live extremely simple here. We have a well, we have a dry kitchen. You know, everything is very simple and I truly enjoy it. We are like glamping <laughs> and this is significantly better camping than we've ever done. You know, we set our base at camping. That was our expectation here was just imagine tent camping and anything above tan cam tent camping is awesome. We never had a problem with it, but you know, I, I know a lot of people couldn't do something like this. We were recently invited to um, go camping with friends and they were telling us telling us about this amazing campsite. And you know, they would, we'd have to take a tent. The campsite had a pool. The campsite offered hiking. They offered, um, you know, going for rides and using a side-by-side -side the whole time. Um, going for walks and, you know, places where your dogs can go. And we were just like listening to the description of this campsite and we were like, I don't think we're going to go because we live in a glorified campsite and we love it. We love it that way. Um, we can go for a hike any day we want. We can go swimming in our pond any day we want. And we have a side by side. We have four wheelers, <laughs> you know, all these things that we can do at our own leisure whenever we want to. And I just feel like we are so free here, I can't even get over it. Um, and living in New York State and feeling like this, really strange. So I guess that kind of wraps up my woods update. So thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.